What is the crack, everybody? My name is Jacob Potato, and with E3 over, I am going to talk about what I thought about the PS4 and the Xbox One. I've already kind of done my discussion on the Xbox One conference, and I was supposed to be doing one on the PS4, but I never got around to it, so I'm going to kind of combine the two. And for me, I'm really quite torn between which console I want most. I know at the end of the day that I've been with the Xbox for like the last four or five years, but originally I was a PlayStation guy, so I'm quite happy to go back. But PlayStation 4 seems to be doing everything a lot better. They seem to be remembering that they are a games console. They have to make games, they have to do good games, and they have to keep their gamers happy. So, I've been kind of torn between which console I want more, so I'm just going to talk about what each console has been doing and what appeals to me and how it affects me. And the first thing about it is the PS4 is a lot cheaper. It's £100 cheaper than the Xbox One and it allows you to use games, so therefore you're saving a lot more money on your games because then you can take your games and trade them in and then get money towards new ones. So you're saving a lot more money in the long run and plus the PSN is cheaper than the Xbox Live. Of course, as many people have been saying, there's that security with Xbox Live and then there's also the fact that whether you like it or not, Xbox does online gaming a lot better than Sony. So there's always that as well. Games wise, it's a lot more difficult as well. The thing that's keeping me swayed a wee bit towards the Xbox, the one thing that's keeping me geared on the Xbox is Titanfall and that is as I said in the last video that is the new COD killer that will be the new game that everyone will have and everyone will be posting videos of but besides that one game there's nothing that's really keeping me on the Xbox's side well also the fact that it all depends on what my friends are going to get you know I don't want to be getting the console and having to be going out and making a pile of new friends or not being able to play with my current friends back in real life not on the internet or on the Xbox side of things so those are really the only two things keeping me geared towards the Xbox. There was one thing that had me totally swayed towards the PS4 and that was the release of Kingdom Hearts 3 and also Final Fantasy 15, previously known as Versus 13. And if those two games were PS3 exclusives, PS4 exclusives, sorry, I would be done. I would just be getting ready to pre-order the PS4. But there's one thing that you can't forget when this is all being said and done, everyone's kind of been like, oh, we don't know which console we want, we don't know which one we want to do. And there's something you have to kind of remember is that the Xbox 360 is not dead. It is far from dead. It's the same with the PS4 3, it's far from dead as well. You don't need to be rushing out to buy these new consoles straight away. Everyone's completely concerned about, oh, which console am I going to get? Which games are going to be better? You have to remember that your previous consoles still have a bit of life left in them. Destiny, Grand Theft Auto V, for myself there's Tales of Zillia and Beyond Time. Those are all games coming out on the current generation. Dark Souls 2, there's still games out on your current generation. And these games are going to be fantastic. Destiny, Grand Theft Auto V and Dark Souls are going to be amazing games. And they're all still to come out on our own console. Not to forget that Titanfall will be coming out in the Xbox 360. Call of Duty will be coming out in the Xbox 360. Battlefield, all these new games that have been announced are still coming out on the Xbox 360. But everyone's completely concerned about which console they're going to go, which side are they going to switch to now. And like £350 or £450 are not cheap in any way. But we still have games that'll keep us going until these new this new generation is properly ready. Because we don't know what issues they're going to have from launch date. I know for myself, I'm particularly happy waiting until Titanfall comes out next March before I even consider buying a new console. That's if I even want a new console. I'll definitely be getting one, of course. I'd, it's, I don't even know why I said if I want one, because I will be playing Kingdom Hearts 3 when that game comes out. That was the first game that I ever played on the PS2. That was the first game that I ever properly, truly got into and loved. And I will be playing that. I will be ending the saga for me. I guarantee it. When thinking about it, I'm kind of wondering which side I am actually going to go to. PS4 seem to be doing everything right. Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy are coming out on the Xbox as well. There aren't many games that are left for exclusive titles. You know, there's Halo 5, there's Infamous, and things like that. But there's not really anything that's got me properly psyched, except for Titanfall. That 
is probably the only thing that's keeping me, as I said, away from the PS4. But there's also been rumours of Titanfall coming out on the PC, so there's that thing. You don't have to be rushing out straight away to get a new console. You can still stick with your old one, if you so choose. With Destiny, you can play Destiny for ages, and then they are rumoured to be able to copy your save over from one console to another, whether that be Xbox 360 to PS4 or PlayStation 3 to Xbox One. That is the rumour thing that Bungie are trying to do with this. And that'd be a great idea, that's a genius idea. But all in all, I think this is one of the best E3s that I've seen in a while. It's kind of got me wondering things that I haven't had to wonder since the last time I had to choose between two consoles. But it all really just boils down to a couple of things, and I'm not particularly wanting to go out and buy a console straight away, so I'm not worried about it. I'll not be worried about it until next March, but I think when Destiny comes out, that is what my channel will probably primarily revolve around. That and Grand Theft Auto V. Fun with friends with Grand Theft Auto is just going to be immense. As for Nintendo, I don't know what the flip they were doing. <laughs> I heard very little from Nintendo this year. I've seen the trailer for Mario Kart 5. It looks pretty good. And then Mega Man's coming to Super Smash Brothers. That's kind of cool as well. They always do that. They always have some like interesting characters come to their, their games every now and again. Last time it was Solid Snake and this time it's freaking Mega Man. But all in all guys, that's my thoughts on the current E3. It was pretty good. I enjoyed watching it. enjoyed hearing about all the games. And it's been annoying. All these things that I've had to contemplate with what they get and stuff. But they're all very first world problems really. There's other things that I could be worrying about. But yeah, but that's it. What I would like to do is I would like to run down a little list of all the games that I've seen this year and that have genuinely got me interested in gaming again. I'm just going to go through the, both the lists that I have up on IGN and just kind of rhyme out the ones that have genuinely got me psyched for some of the games. Assassin's Creed 4 looks okay. Battlefield 4 looks great. Cannot wait for that. Call of Duty Ghost. The Dead Rising 3. Yeah. Destiny. Yes. The Division from Tom Clancy looks Brilliant, cannot wait for that. Um, Elder Scrolls Online, eh, looks okay. Final Fantasy 15, yes. Halo, mm, don't know, we'll see how that goes. Kingdom Hearts 3, yes. Cannot wait for that. Metal Gear Solid 5, yes. Mirror's Edge, yes. Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare, yes. Titanfall, yes. Trials Fusion, yeah, okay, yeah, I can I can swing that way. Deep Down looked okay. Uh, that was on the, the PS4 side. Killzone Shadowfall looks pretty good. Knack looks interesting. I don't know about Knack. I'm kind of on two sides of the coin with it. Sniper Elite 3. Star Wars Battlefront. Yes. That's all I have to say on that. He's just, yes. <laughs> Thief. Yes. And Watch Dogs. That's it. That's everything I've seen at the current E3. And they're all the games that have got me properly excited. As always guys, my name is Jacob Potato, thanks for listening, I think I'll soon be hitting a thousand views, so keep an eye out for my little setup video, I'll have to start cleaning my room to show you around, I don't know if I'll show you my face, we'll see how that goes. I am a Christian, and I will see you all next time.